Hi again, thanks for checking out the Unstack video tutorial series. I'm Steve. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking you through adding media tags to your custom section components. And so in the last tutorial, we went through rich text. Prior to that, we looked at our plain text. Now, what happens when you want, when your users want to add images to their content? Well, we've provided a very simple tool for you in that regard, which is our media tag. I just changed this rich text tag to an inline closure just to clean up our video a little bit. So now I'm going to add a, a media tag to this novel. And you'll see that immediately in the preview above, you can see that we're creating this media tag again, as with every other normal tag, media tag requires that you provide a data ref and the data ref again, is a pointer to where in the content object, which is global to this section, where in the content object we want to store the content that users upload into this interactive media element. And so we're going to store this in content.media. We have above it, a rich text tag that stores content in this content.text tag. And so now we have this media tag, and this is a very large image here. Sorry. Now <laughs> there's, there's an additional requirement for media tags. As I mentioned, different tags in normal do require certain attributes. The media tag requires a category attribute. And we're just going to call this an image. There are three categories you can provide for your media. We have images, we have icons, and we have videos. And <clears throat> based on the, based on the category that you select, that will determine where in the media manager we point the user to. So in the case of images, this will open up your image media for the user to select from. If you specified icons as the category, it would open this icons area. <clears throat> These act almost like folders for your, for your users media, as they upload images into different categories, those will be available then in those categories Story, which we'll get into in a future video. But for right now, this, this kind of explains, this kind of explains the basics of the media component, how to add digital assets capabilities, a component. And in this case, we have this very linear text and image kind of a section component, which isn't really a very useful layout for your users. And you're going to want to create components that lay these out into beautiful sections that, that people could just plug into pages and have really nice layouts right out of the box. And so in the next video in this series, we're going to start to get into how to use us to lay these out. And, and if you're technical and watching this video series, you'll, you'll probably be well aware as to how CSS works, but what we're going to show you is a little bit more of how our unstack components and the normal language can create CSS attributes, style attributes, class attributes for you to interact with in order to create really powerful styles and, and as well as configurable styles for your users to have a lot more flexibility in the idiosyncrasies of how your new component sections will work. So that said, this is a wrap to media and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.